Yeah, I mean, the, the history of the horse in, in Canada and in the United States is really interesting, and it's a good axis for thinking about the relationship between people and animals and cities. Because the horse's history um, is tragic in some, <laughs> from some perspectives. It became an industrial animal, right? It became the primary mode of energy for industrialization in urban environments in the, in the 19th century, in the beginning of the 20th century. And in fact, the horse population, the urban horse population in the United States and in some Canadian cities increases toward the end of the 19th century up to the 1910s and then suddenly plummets. Its increase can be attributed to the expansion of, um, of cities because the movement of goods and people in cities for most of the 19th century was dependent on horses. So as cities industrialized and grew and became the kind of mass congregations of humans that we think of as cities today, that came along with a mass congregation of horses as the primary mode of moving things and people. As streetcars became electrified and as the automobile became popularized by the 1920s, the horse became obsolete. Um, it became a technology that was no longer convenient uh, and so Biologically, the ho this is where the story became tragic for the horse. Um, you know, it's the first generation iPod that you never see anymore. Uh, the horse became obsolete and these new technologies replaced it. And then as, a, as an organism and as an, as an ecosystem, cities changed as a result of that. So when you reduce the horse population in Toronto at a peak, it was close to 10,000 horses down to fewer than 500. Now you can imagine there's fewer dead horse bodies on the streets, there's less manure, you don't have to worry about drainage of urine on the street uh, anymore, and in fact the replacement of horses by electrified streetcars and automobiles was seen as a great environmental improvement. That uh, horses were an environmental problem that were uh, resolved by the introduction of cars. Now today cars are an environmental problem for cities in terms of air pollution and contribution to climate change. So we can imagine what might be the technological transformation that occurs that fixes that problem, but potentially creates another one down the road.